In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can create the best defense in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I would encourage you to hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in this video, we are talking about the 46 playbook. Uh, we're going to be focusing in on the nickel 335 and the nickel 335 wide. I'm going to show you a really cool trick that is going to make this defense absolutely insane. Um, and if you guys want to learn more about this 4-6 defense, I've got a full ebook on this in my Patreon membership. If you've not joined the Patreon yet uh, for just 10 bucks a month, you're going to get immediate access to all of my ebooks. We've got 13 ebooks over there. The 4-6 is just one of them. So if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description below. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do is in our coaching adjustments, we're going to put our ball in our defense to play ball, our option defense on conservative, our flats are going to be on 30, our curl flats are going to be on 10, and our hook curls are going to be on 5. That's how we're going to set up our zone drops. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the nickel 335, and if you want to sub in safeties at the linebacker position, you're going to hit that triangle button or the Y on Xbox, and you can basically sub in safeties if you want to. The next thing that we're going to do here is if you take a look at the bottom uh, left-hand corner of the screen, you're going to see that it says packages. What we're going to do is we're going to flick our joystick to the left until we get to the uh, strong safety or safety nickelback package. Um, or, yeah, the safety nickelback package, I apologize. Uh, so, yes, the safety nickelback package. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to put a safety here at the nickelback position. Now, if you want to, feel free to sub him out and put Jordan Lewis back in there. It's just so that we can get some additional adjustments. What you're going to notice is I'm going to come out in the 335 cover four drop, and I'm going to audible down into the 335 wide so that I can send some pressure and have just kind of a tighter alignment, better run defense, and all of that stuff. Then what we're going to do here is you're going to notice that we can put uh, our our safeties here we can put them in outside third so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the safety on the left in an outside third to the left i'm going to put the safety on the right in an outside third to uh the right and then what i'm going to do here so you see here this is what the play looks like and then what i'm going to do here is you can actually base align this specifically for bunch it's very very effective and what i can do with my slot cornerback here is I can actually put him uh, in a the blue zone, okay? So um, anyways, the basics of this, or the basic mechanics of this is it's going to look something like this. And then what I like to do is put two purples down there. So you see this is very, very good underneath coverage. Now what you need to do as a user, uh, what I would recommend is blitzing your user, and then from there you could bluff blitz uh, one of your defensive linemen if you want to. But if there's any kind of skinny post on the play, you're responsible for the whole middle area of the field. But other than that, uh, this is going to pretty much bag pretty much every money play uh, in this game. I'm going to go to the verticals uh, concept first. And you're going to notice the reason I like this out, these outside thirds is because they're going to do a really good job of getting over the top and kind of helping out a lot in this coverage. So let me show you this in instant replay really quickly. And again, what you're going to notice here is this wheel route to the right side. Typically, that's going to beat a cover two. But if you take a look at that outside third, you see that he's splitting the difference of the seams. Now, again, if you want to do a little bit more against the uh, a little bit safer of a coverage against something like a compressed uh, tight bunch type of deal, uh, what you can do is you can co come out in a base alignment. And then um, I think because I subbed Jordan Lewis in there, I can't do it. But typically, you'll be able to put him into a uh, deep middle third on that right side. Uh, but anyways, as you can see here, we're going to go outside third to the left, outside third to the right, and then we're free to create kind of our Mabel concept. we got really good underneath coverage here on the three wide receiver side. If we wanted to man up on the running back, we certainly could. One of my favorite little tricks to stop the running back seam wheel uh, is would be to shift my D-line to the, to the left or to just spread it and then put the three rack hook there. And what you're gonna see is if I were to try to, you know, just run kind of a standard uh, seam wheel type of concept here on the left side, you'll notice that that three rack, will, three rack hook will take the running back and he'll be able to take that away. So though that way you can get kind of two yellow zones on both sides of the field. It's gonna stop hitches, it's gonna stop some of that stuff. And then you're gonna be able to kind of have the freedom uh, to be able to get back on the ball. Now, another way, reason why I would like something like this would be in an example of a way that we could create a cover three cloud uh, type of coverage. So I'm going to show that here uh, in this next section. 
And what you're going to see is, again, these are all things that we can create. But this is something that I like to do if I'm at all worried uh, that they're going to do some kind of like skinny post type of concept. You know, it might look something honestly like this, if you will. Let me kind of get this set up. But yeah, something like this. And then what you're going to see from a defensive perspective is we're actually going to audible down into the Mike Blitz 3. Now, we audible down into the Mike Blitz 3. What I like to do is very simple. Uh, all we're going to do on this one is we are going to shade our coverage down. We're going to put both of our outside linebackers. I like to put them in seam flats. And then from there, you're going to see that it looks like this. Now, on this left side, what we're going to do is we're going to put that slot, or I'm sorry, that cornerback on the left side into a cloud flat. And then we're going to take that deep guy, and we're going to actually put him into that outside third. So now he's going to be able to really get over the top of any kind of vertical route. And then I've got on this back side here, I've got this nice little inside third, and that's going to help me kind of take away uh, some of these concepts. So you see here, if they, if they try to run that post, now I've got a guy that's in the deep area of the field obviously if i click on right there he'll be able to stop that so uh the bottom line guys is with these adjustments and this ability because cover three is so hard to bomb at this point in the year especially if you use those outside thirds uh from your slots and from your nickel corners and from your safeties uh you're gonna have a lot of success so i would really encourage you to try out that package out of that 335 especially if you're in the four six playbook if you want to learn more about this 335 wide most the majority of people that play man 22 would tell you that this is the best defense in the game so if you want to learn my complete breakdown of this defense it's available over at my patreon if you want to join the patreon just head on down to the description click that link and it'll take you right over so that you can check out that membership for just 10 bucks a month you're going to get an instant and immediate access to all of my madden 22 ebooks all my madden 22 exclusive tips pro player film rooms and much much more so thanks for watching this video if you really want to take your madden game to the next level be sure to check out that patreon there is a link that you can check out in the description of the video